in this lesson we are going to learn how to debug a spring boot multi module project from vs code in order to do that i have already created a multi module project i'll explain in brief how the multi module project could be created run and debug in step by step manner as a first step you need to go to this particular github url that is https colon double slash github dot com slash jtv expert 2015 slash spring hyphen boot hyphen multi hyphen module hyphen project so you hit this url and you will get this page once you are in this github project page click on this code button and click on this download zip icon now the download is complete let me go to the download directory here what i will do i'll extract it it is extracted now as it has the branch name which is master i'm going to remove that you can keep it as it is also so this is the project directory i'm going to cut it and going to place it inside a directory which i will point from vs code so i'm placing the project over here i'm going to vs code now so this is my visual studio code editor click on file open folder so this is the folder where i have extracted my project select this now before i go for running this project or debugging this project let me go through the details how a spring boot multi module project should be created in a spring boot multi module project we have a parent project under that we have the child projects or sub modules so this is the parent project under this i have this two projects service 1 core and service 2 web these are the child projects so you can see over here this project have their own pom.xml and this is the parent project pom.xml if i open it over here if you see from line number 7 to 11 these are standard entries group id artifact id packaging is pom because this is the root project i'm not going to deploy this right i don't need war or jar here so the packaging is pom over here so the first thing it has the dependency for spin boot starter parent the release is 2.2.4 and then the general properties like the maven compiler source maven compiler target java version this can vary based on your actual requirement and this is the critical part under modules i have these two projects that is service 1 core and service 2 web these are added and in dependencies i have spring boot starter test i have spring boot starter these are mentioned specifically now if i go to the modules or the child projects if i open their pom.xml let me open this here what you can see at the very beginning the parent is mentioned if you see over here the group id is this org.lfe artifact id is this and then the version now if i go back to the parent projects pom.xml you can see this particular group id and this particular artifact id and also the version so here in the child project this parent entry should match that and then i have that particular projects group id artifact id etc given over there similarly if i go to another child project which is service to hyphen web you can see the parent entry is mentioned so it is referring to the parent project within the parent now here under dependencies you can see i have added additional dependencies which are required for this specific project only i have added spring boot starter web and also another important thing i have added the service one core I want to use this particular service from this particular project so service to web is going to use service one core that is why that dependency is added now i can access the code from service one inside service two so this way this dependency related things are handled now to give you an overview programmatically how this is done we need to have a look into the code structure if i go to service one core let me expand the source directory here i have my services defined so this is a dummy service which has an interface and it has a method get dummy data from service 1 and it is going to return a domain object and this is the implementation here i have the actual service which implements that particular interface and here what i am doing i have the service annotation and i am returning a particular domain object if i click on domain object what it has it has field 1 field 2 So here in the service I can see this domain object is populated field 1 hello there field 2 dummy service from service 1 so this is the code structure for the service 1 core now in service 2 web let me open the controller you can see over here it has a rest controller the request mapping is slash service 2 and here if you see I am injecting the dummy service which is from the service 1 
and inside the get domain method i am invoking the service and its get dummy data from service one method so that is the way this two are communicating between them basically it's not a two way communication the service two is going to invoke the service one now how to run this multi module maven based spring boot project in order to do that what we need to do we can go to this maven tab or we can go to the terminal also anyways so this maven related entries are shown here i want to build the parent one if i do that naturally the child ones also would be built properly so right click so i can do clean install and package etc rather than that let me go to terminal i am inside the spring boot multi module project directory and let me try maven clean install maven build and clean is complete if i go to this target directories here i can see this jar is generated similarly if i go inside the target of the second project you can see the jar is generated here also now let's run the project so let me open the application class from the second project and run it from here here it is saying the tomcat is started the project is also started now if i go to the controller this is the request mapping that is slash service 2 and then invoke service 1 now i am going to invoke the project url from browser so the url would be localhost colon 8080 the standard one then service 2 then slash invoke service 1 based on our mapping now if i press enter we can see the service 2 is called service 2 has invoked the service 1 in turn and we are getting the expected response now how to debug this multi module project let me show that it's pretty simple i'm going back to vs code i'm stopping this let me provide a breakpoint over here in project 2 and also i want to provide a breakpoint in the service class itself here now what you need to do go to the application file i'm clicking on debug now the editor has already entered in debug mode let the application be up then we will hit the url once again the application is up let's go back to the browser just refresh this now you can see the editor icon is blinking so it might have hit a break point and it's waiting so let's go there as expected you can see this particular break point is hit i can just click this continue button in that way the next break point should be hit here inside the service 2 controller i have the control and this service is going to be invoked let me click on continue now you can see the other project right the service 1 core here the flow has come and it's stuck if i just do continue once again then the final output would be shown now if i go back to browser it's rendered what we have done overall we have understood how to create a multi module spring boot project how the parent project structure should be how the child project structure should be how they would communicate how to run them from vs code and also how to debug them so in general in real life spring boot projects there are multiple scenarios where multi module projects are used there this basic knowledge and understanding is required in order to avoid confusion i hope this particular lesson would be very useful